Welcome to Rolling Grimes, not just sports and entertainment show. I'm your host, Rolling Bubba Grimes. You may notice some very extraordinary artwork here on the set. We're shooting live here at Everlasting Life, 9185 Central Avenue, Capitol Heights, Maryland. And our primary goal of the Rolling Grimes show is to make sure that we put some great stuff out there. We have something for everyone. So tonight we have... Miss Jessica Urentia, and I've been practicing that for the last 72 hours, and I think I might have hit it right. Urentia? You added a little A at the end. Okay. Urentia. Almost okay. there. Almost there. All right, so now, so now I put my own accentuation on her name. That's so okay. her name is Urentia, but for my purposes, you're not a Urentia. Anyway, so Jessica Urentia <laughs> has this wonderful artwork around us, and she's going to tell us about, do me a favor, put your hands together once more, once more for Ms. Jessica Urich. <laughs> Jessica, now yes. tell the truth. You didn't paint any of this. No, that's right. I stole them from you, remember? Yeah, you she remember? was at the house and she just like <laughs> robbed me. But truthfully, <laughs> tell me, did, how? I'm just going to start with how. People have come in and they've looked and they've gone, wow. Tell me how you do this. It's an honor to hear that. Well, to be honest, you said tell the truth. Well, it's you, from the you heart. Can make it up. <laughs> it's from the heart. I'm just inspired and I just do it. Really, I don't always have a plan. I just feel like painting one day. And I paint. Later on, I look at it and then it starts to speak to me. It starts to speak more and more in different layers of meaning. So what inspires me is just my intuitive desire to just want to paint and put color on canvas, basically. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look, did you have formal professional training or you just woke up one day and said, I'm, I can do this? Does formal professional training include a class or two in high school? No. No. Okay, so the answer is no. <laughs> I've wow. just... Something that I've always done as a kid, I was a doodler in school, in class. Um, I would sit there and draw a couple of people, administrators actually, in my elementary and high school noticed my drawings and wanted to start paying me for it. So I said, hmm, maybe I should think about doing art for a living one day. So I do not have professional training. I, it's just something that I've done my and, whole life. And people still pay you for it. Mm -hmm. They still T do. Tell me how this works. You do a pay what I ask you to do something specific for me and then you make it and then I pay you or I look at your collage, your portfolio, and then I buy it from you. How do you get paid for putting together this wonderful art? Perfect example, one of the first uh, paintings that I've ever sold paintings wise was a replica of this one down here, the flamingo dancer. Okay. So I came across an art dealer she noticed my talent on my website and said, hey, I have this idea for Hispanic, Latin, flavor, Spain. Can you paint me something? So what I did was um, I just went online. I looked at some flamenco dancing, which I love. I have seen some flamenco concerts. And I would get the inspiration from 
everything that I was seeing, the music, the color, the, the people, the energy that they have, and put it down on paper. Um, we made a little agreement, and we exchanged the painting for compensation. So, so. I knew people like you in middle school, and we used to like <laughs> chase y'all around and, and off the basketball court and the football mm -hmm. field, the artistic ones. Was your experience very similar? Did we, did we make fun of you and all of that when you were growing up, or oh, did you well, have a little more pleasant experience? I had a pleasant experience because I knew how to hide my talent from people. I was a uh, in That's the closet the artist. That's the <laughs> so I would do it mostly at home, and I wouldn't let people know that I was that weird quirky. Yeah, because we, we would have definitely joned on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, now we admire you, but like when you're nine, we're like cutting you up. I knew how to hide it well, so I actually just came out officially as an artist a couple years ago. So is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I had a chance to find you on social media, and and as I was going through some of your works, I was awestruck, and you awesome. know this, and I've told you this, and. And I couldn't wait. I mean, I got you on the phone, I think, for the next day, sent you an uh, email, said, look, I have to have you bring some of this beautiful artwork to our set and tell people about it. Now, from the business side, it costs money to buy the material. It costs money to buy the oil, to buy the, you know, I, I'm saying this like I actually know what I'm talking about, but to whatever materials and supplies you need mm -hmm. to make your art. So as you make that investment and you start to recoup your investment, how, how do we find out about you and your pieces and how do we find out what they cost? Well, I do have a website and I'm going to say this right now. I do not at this point sell my original paintings because um, this particular collection is so meaningful to me. It's one of my first it's something that I want to keep and pass on to um, generations. generations. And so what I will do is I do make prints of the original art piece, and you can contact me directly, and we can discuss prices that way. Um, the other thing I do do is take requests. If you would like something similar to what you see, or you have something in mind, we'll sit down and make a plan, talk about the colors, um, talk about what you want, and boom. Right there. Okay, she said boom. So look, <laughs> the, the inspiration that you talk about, and I know, because I've been around you a little bit, so your inspiration sometimes hits you 1.40 a.m. Yeah, exactly. I have to write some poetry. 40, I have right. to do something. And when this inspiration hits you and you jump up and you start to do your thing, right? Those are originals, from what I understand. Right. And then someone sees your work and then they say, but... Obviously, this is not all you do for a living. Mm -hmm. So you have a day job, night job? I do have a day job. I am a health and fitness professional. I work with elderly clients with um, Alzheimer's dementia, and I do therapeutic uh, recreational exercises with them, as well as uh, me, okay. other needs that they have. Well, I'm suffering from like some form of dementia. I'm not <laughs> quite elderly yet, but so, like, how do... Can I contract you as an individual or do you work with a company? Well, you, I do work with a company. Um, right now, I'm not uh, as an individual. I am working on setting up my own wellness uh, business. Okay. That's in the future. That's to come. Okay. But um, you're going to have to tell us your age before I tell you whether or not you can, you know, be okay. one of my clients. And if you're fine with that. Okay, 149. <laughs> no, you're too young. Too young. I'm too young to be a client. Too young to be a client right, right now. So I have to see you when I get my AARP card. That's right, that's right. All right, folks, look, we're going to uh, give you an opportunity to ask Miss Jessica some questions, and uh, we're going to go right into a little bit more about the rest of tonight's show. And uh, she's going to be around to take pictures with you to come up and get some shots. And uh, she's also going to stay for the rest of our program, I hope, because right. um, we're going to do some other dynamic things for the end of the night. Any questions from my good friends? Ms. Silhouetted next to a guitar because the guitar reminds me of a woman's shape, and um, I'm just blessed with a beautiful shape. Not to brag, I mean I've been all kinds of sizes. I've been very large and I've been very small, and so it's this process of being confident at any size. And so there she is, standing in red, um, silhouetted next to the guitar, and then next to her she has her girlfriends. I don't know if you see in the purple, one girlfriend is in the purple and one girlfriend is in the blue. 
they are her supporters. You know, when she feels down, when she doesn't feel like doing her thing anymore, they're there to support her and say, you know, this is a part of you, let it come out. So this particular piece called Harmony speaks the most to me and just tells me, you know, no matter what you're going through, keep doing your art because that's what you're about, that's who you are. Any other questions? All right, folks, do me a favor, put your hands together for Miss Jessica Urenshi. How's it feel, Raymond? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> like, this side feels lighter in life. This one's touching on me. But it, it does feel lighter in I love the way. And we had a regular mineral rich, mineral rich magnetic uh, mud mask. And everyone keeps telling me one cheek looks higher than the other right now. This one, this face does feel lifted. This one feels dropped. I need to lift this one up. <laughs> we call that a natural lift without problems. I feel it. Yes. I feel it.